Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. It's Sister Judy coming again. And I'm going to continue with my testimony on spiritual warfare, climbing up into the third dimension. Now, sometimes when you go through things, you might not understand why. But sometimes it's like the Lord just bring it back. And I can remember this morning as I was lying down, the Lord bring back a vision I had where this dark force was coming after me. This was a dark force and it was so dark I could hardly see. But I know as this dark force was coming after me that there was this veil behind. So the only thing that was protecting me, I was in front like running and there was a veil behind me and there was a dark force behind the veil coming after me. Now, the Lord bring back that to my attention this morning as I was lying down. And he said, I know where this spot in the second dimension is. Because now when you reach, before you climb over into the third dimension, or before you go into the seventh heaven. At the sixth heaven, that's where Satan has his throne. So when you're going to go through what I'm just telling you about the veil, you will see that in your dream and you, or you will see yourself going through this dark thing that you feel as if you're going to suffocate. And I remember as I was running and the dark forces were coming after me. And I could see the veil. And when I run, there was this building waiting for me. This building had like a door, a two door that you push. It wasn't one door. It was like a two door. So when you push it, the door bursts open. So one would swing to the right, one would swing to the left, and you'd go through. And I remember when I run in there... Half of the veil came in and half was outside. And I could hear the Lord speaking to me and saying, you cannot close the door with any of the veil hanging outside. The veil, the whole complete veil must come in. Now, I did not want to open the door because I knew this thing was so powerful. And I'm saying, if I open this door, will I be able to close it? But I had to I had to listen to what the Lord was telling me and I opened the door and I took the veil in. And as I was lying down today, the Lord was trying to show me that you remember this dream where you had the veil and you had to come in with the whole veil. It was for a reason that I allow you to see that the veil, you have to use the veil. So as I was lying down on my bed this morning, because what I notice, my prior has changed recently because the Lord is trying to tell me we are in a battle now. It's a very fierce warfare now. And he said, when I'm teaching you, I want you to teach my people also about this warfare and how they have to pray and the things that they have to do to protect themselves. Because there are some fierce things that is getting ready. Some already start to release themselves on earth, taking over human body. And this is why we're going to see these gruesome murders. We're going to see some killing that we are going to shiver in our body. But it's not really the person that is doing it. It's the demonic forces that has been released. Now, when I lay down on my bed this morning, this was what the Lord told me. He said, I want you to seal your appointment. I always seal it because the Lord showed me how to seal and how to seal my house. But this morning, he told me there is a way I want you to seal it. He said, I want you to draw the veil right across your roof right across your wall he said go right around your house with a veil and cover your house even the floor with a veil so what he's trying to say if you're living in an apartment and you're going to draw the veil 
you must draw the veil at the top of the roof, the top of the floor, and all the side of the walls in your house. You must draw the veil. This is a protection that God is giving now. I don't know why he's telling me to give it, but I'm just going to tell you people that is a protection you have to use now when you're going to cover your place. The Lord said it must be covered like that now. He also showed me when you're going to cover your house. You must know now because some of the entity we fight now, especially those that is coming from the marine kingdom, you will have to use the blood of God, which you have to use the, the anointing oil. And you must tip anointing oil in your sinks, all your sink, your kitchen sink, your bathroom sink, and your tub. Anywhere the water drain, you need to seal it. The Lord is telling me I need to tell these people these things, and I'm going to be telling you these things. And also, once you seal those, he said you must also apply the veil over these area. You have to say the veil. I put the veil. Once you put the, the olive oil in, the Lord said you need to put the veil over all these things now. As he give it to me, I'm telling you, the Lord said, I need to tell the people they need to seal up, they need to cover. And when, as I was lying there, I even went to the lake this morning because I wanted to do this at the lake. But when I went there, it was so rough. Like the Lord is trying to tell me, I want you to see these are the danger. As rough as you see the lake is this morning, this is what is coming. It's a rough spiritual battle coming. And my people need to know these things. You see, when you're in the second dimension, and especially people that are caught up at the sixth level that hasn't gone through yet into the third dimension, you will come against the spirit that dwell. This is where you have people that can change from an animal. They can change from a person to an animal. They can change to a bird. They can change to... Anything they want to change, these people can teleport themselves so they get out of their body. And that's where they sit and they do what is wrong. Now, when they're teleporting, sometimes the Lord show me, they can just fly across your house and look straight into your house. And they can come in. This is why I'm teaching you people these things because I want you to know it. They can look through your house when they're in the telepathic mood. And they can come in and harass your body. This is why you're not supposed to go to your bed and find you having sex. I don't care how it looks like your husband or who you love. It's a demonic entity that is working in the telepathic mood that is coming in and bringing in spirit. So this is why now the Lord said to me, now I have to block them from seeing through. And this is why now the Lord said, this is why the tin veil need to go. So if you have a house, you have to tell the Lord to cover your house with a veil at night. If you're living in a house, you must tell him to drop the veil over your house for protection now. The Lord is lifting up a protection now because we are going into a high gear of spiritual warfare. And we have to know how to protect ourselves. So the Lord tell me today, you need to teach my people these things. Let me tell you all, I've been fighting heavy, heavy spiritual warfare. What I tell you, it's what I've gone through. I can see them sometimes, they change from a man to a bird. I know that. They change from a man to an animal. I remember one morning I got up and when I went outside to my truck, the thing, you could know like in a flash of a time, it changed into a deer. Um, and I'm not living like on no farm place where you should know that a deer, you would maybe say a deer jumped the wall, a deer. No. So this is how I know these things. And we have to learn to protect ourselves. We have to learn to plead the blood over our finance. We have to, there was something the Lord teach me once. I would walk, the Lord would allow me to walk from where I am to into the town area. And the Lord would teach me something about people. When you see people sitting at the banks or all those people be, um, pretending like they are 
homeless people poor. And one day the Lord teach me that never give people sitting around the bank your money because those are the ones that work and go up in the heavens at night. They can um, teleport themselves. So they are sent to take people money. And once it go up and they make a covenant with the marine spirit, this is all people can't. People live in poverty. There is a whole lot of things happen up there. When I was going through, as the Lord was taking me through, I had to stop at the sixth heaven. And the Lord was teaching me what happened there. So that's how I know you have the astrologers. You have the magician. You have the familiar spirit. You have the warlock. You have the witches. You have all these people that hanged out. There is a place up there that I call the chatters. And the reason why I call up there the chatter, when you reach up there, there's a lot of talking. It's like you just hear everybody talking. Because everybody is trying to fight to hear the information that is coming down to God people that are in the second dimension at the sixth level that God is trying to bring over into the seventh heaven or to bring you over into the third dimension. So God want people to know that these things are real. There's only so much I can tell you. But you have to understand, and this is why I tell you on the video, that people going into the third dimension, you can't have anything that is associated with ACL. Because the ranking demons, principality will not let you go through. So when I'm saying these things, a lot of people might say, because the Lord told me, I saw it for myself. You cannot go up on nail polish, false nails, false eyelashes, false hair. There is a whole lot of things. You cannot go up into the third dimension with nothing like that. Because you have what is for the demonic kingdom. What belongs to Asiel. What belongs to Jezebel. You can't go through the heaven. So when I see people teaching like that, I know you haven't gone up yet. God is trying to take you through. And I know the ones that hasn't learned it yet from the ones that are rebellious. You can't even go up with hair perm, hair color in your hair. No, that, that does not work. I tell you these things because I've gone through and the Lord showed me. Let me tell you that even before I could touch the third heaven the other day, the Lord told me before I touch the third heaven, I need was to take a good look in my house to see if I have anything that will cause them to afflict me. And yes, I did have stuff because the Lord showed me, you see those swimsuits you have? Those are from the marine kingdom. They make those things for you to wear it. And ten people. So the Lord tell me get rid of all those things. So I had to do a totally clean cleaning in my house. Because I, I didn't know those things. Not that I didn't know. But I just said I'm not going to wear them. The Lord said get rid of them. And when he said get rid of them. He said don't give them to Salvation Army. Don't give them to no thrift store. Don't give them to anyone. He said throw them in the garbage. So there is a whole lot that the Lord is going to teach people in these days. Because what God is trying to say, we have to choose a side. And even the demons is saying, you have to choose a side. So it's coming down to good or evil. The Lord is getting really, 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 really stern. Because the Lord wants to take his people into the third dimension. Because if you're caught up in the second dimension, you will not be able to hear when the trumpet is sound. Because you have to be walking totally in the spirit to be able to hear when the trumpet is sound. And when the trumpet sound, and you're not in the third dimension, you will be left behind. Don't think it's a paw, paw, paw coming. It's what is in the spirit. Say, for example, now that we are here, this is how the spirit world work. You look outside and you see the rain is falling. I don't have to tell nobody that rain is falling because we all can see. When we are in the spirit, the same thing that is released. You see the way I'm teaching 
spiritual warfare now and, and I'm teaching certain things. People that are in the spirit will be teaching the same thing I'm teaching right now at this moment because you're in the spirit and you hear what the Lord is telling you. Even if you're having something else, because I had something else that I wanted to do and the Lord said, no, this is very urgent. I want you to take spiritual warfare to my people and I want you to tell them about spiritual warfare and I want them to know certain things. Because he said, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So if you don't know something, you will be caught in, up in these warfare and getting defeated. And you don't know why you're getting defeated. And then you, started to, you start to blame people. No, don't blame anyone. Ask God, what is it that I'm not doing that allowing these demonic forces to be coming so hard on me? This is what we need to ask and God will show us because God is teaching warfare now because I'm telling you people, there is a warfare coming. I had this dream the other night where I look up in the sky and when I look up in the sky, I saw the head of this goat in the sky and then in the spirit realm, this was what I heard. We thought that we would be covered but we are not covered properly. They said most of the stars, we thought that they would be covered, but they are not covered the way they expect that it was supposed to be covered. So the way the devil expect was to come down and hide certain things. It won't be, it won't be hidden because most of them did not get covered the way they wanted to be covered. And then this is what the Lord tell me, a whole of them will be taking over human body and they will be taking over these mannequin, these robot that is how they're going to be entering into them. Because when they came down, they did not get the cover that they expect that they should have gotten. So we need to listen now to what God is telling us and we need to go into prayer and fasting especially for those that are going to your bed and having sex with demons. These are the marrying kingdom spirit. You need to go on three day, three night. You don't eat, you don't drink because you need to drain the water, some of the water out of your system. So they cannot survive. These things live in water. They can't survive when you do the three day, three night. You will get them out very fast. When are you going to fight the marine kingdom and where are you going to fight demons that keep harassing you like that? You have to do three day, three night fast. Don't eat, don't drink. You got to kill them. I'm teaching you now how you have to kill them. These are the things the Lord wants his people to know. This is just me testifying. I'm telling you the things. I'm going to do one more testifying on spiritual warfare because I want you people to know what it is like. Because I'm telling you, these are the things you face now sitting underneath the second dimension. You have all these things coming up against you, which is not right. So I'm going to leave it here tonight. And I love you all, my brothers and sisters. And for those that are not saved, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sin and get filled with the Holy Ghost so God can teach you. Love you all. Amen and amen and amen.